Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm here at Microsoft's Future Decoded event in London, where I've been able to take a look at the brand new Surface Book 2. The big story this year is that not only is there a standard 13.5 inch display model, but there's also now a huge 15 inch model. Although both models initially look very similar to the original product that was unveiled back in October of 2015, with the same light grey magnesium chassis, the same 3x2 aspect ratio, and the same 267 pixels per inch, the Surface team have been extremely hard at work refining the product's design. The biggest and most obvious change is performance. Microsoft have managed to pack a GTX 1050 into the base of the 13-inch model, and a GTX 1060 into the 15-inch model. This is a huge technical achievement, as the base is only slightly thicker than the original model, and allows even greater performance, even with heavy-duty programs such as gaming, at very high resolutions. The keyboard has a great tactile feel, however small improvements have been made to the layout, as it now includes dedicated screen brightness buttons, which are a very welcome addition. Microsoft have entirely reworked the dynamic fulcrum hinge that allows the device to detach from the keyboard with just the press of a button. The hinge can now be opened easily with just one finger, and they claim that the detach mechanism now occurs even faster, reducing the short hesitation between pressing the button and being able to pull the product apart. It is also supposedly more stable, reducing the screen wobble that occurs when tapping the screen when it's in laptop mode which was one of the biggest complaints about the original product. Although this is a welcome improvement, the hinge still doesn't feel quite as stiff as that found on the Surface laptop, so screen wobble hasn't been totally eliminated, but this is certainly a step in the right direction. This is particularly important for the new, larger model, as the hinge needs to be very sturdy to support a tablet this huge. Microsoft are clearly targeting the 15-inch MacBook Pro with this device, although how many people would want to use a 15-inch tablet is yet to be seen. The only use case I can really see for this is sketching as a larger canvas to draw on is always welcome. But as light as it is, it really isn't a tablet designed to be held with one hand. Due to the pure size of it, it really is just huge. Microsoft have promised great things when it comes to battery life, a supposed 17 hours of video playback, although how that translates to real life use is yet to be known. But this is looking to be a very promising product when it comes to battery, especially with this new performance to battery slider, available on the new creators update. For I.O., Microsoft have finally ditched the mini display port and replaced it with the USB-C port, a welcome change for many people, I'm sure. Unfortunately, it doesn't support Thunderbolt 3, though, which seems like something that should really come standard on a laptop as expensive as this. However, I'm very happy with Microsoft's decision to keep the two USB-A ports, the SD card slot, and their brilliant magnetic charger that works in a very similar way to Apple's MagSafe. Which takes us to the price. The new 13-inch model starts at £1,500, if you want that discrete GPU, then you're looking at a starting price of £2,000, and it goes all the way up to 3000 for a terabyte of storage. Microsoft haven't officially stated anything about the availability of the 15-inch model in the UK and Europe, although Panos Panay gave a keynote this morning, in which he stated, And the 15-inch, which is coming here early next year, is unmapped. And it will likely start at £2,500. Pre-orders for the 13-inch model begin on the 9th of November. But what do you guys think of the new devices? Are you planning on upgrading from a previous Surface device? Or was there anything else you're hoping to see that Microsoft didn't deliver? Let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next video.